Good day, fellow investors. I recently changed the channel intro and put a Munger, Charlie Munger perspective on it. And one of the messages were, were Charlie Munger says simply, analyze things with common sense, be patient and wait for the right few opportunities in life to really put your money to work. That is what will make huge changes over your lifetime. A few percentage point higher returns over a lifetime are millions. We are talking millions, probably dozens of millions over the really, really long term. And in that light, Ishfaq asked a very good question. Sven, tell us over the last 20 years, what have been your great investments like Charlie Munger investments that have really propelled your financial life? And I really love that subject because I'm just looking at how that few investments over the last 20 years really made it work for me. So let's start this story. It will be very motivating. It will give you the patience to wait for the right investments, the willingness to work hard to find the right investments, the right exposure at the right point in time. And you will see how it really pays to do so. It really pays to uh, really look at things properly. Everybody's saying invest in index funds, index funds, index funds, index funds. But then my answer is simple. Also another comment. If I would have invested in index funds since I started 20 years ago, I would be poor as hell because simple common sense beats index funds over the long term. Warren Buffett is up 1000 times. The S&P 500 is up 28 times over the 35 years, over the last 35 years. That's the difference. That's the message on this channel. So let's start with my investments. I started investing in 2002. I was 19 years old. I had some money from the fishing I was doing, uh, things like that. And I looked at the stock market. Everybody was running away from the stock market, selling stocks. And then it was in Croatia. I looked at that. I saw, okay, I get 8% dividend yield. The bank was giving, I think, 3% on savings. I see that the businesses are growing. They own beautiful projects, good products. So I invested my money. And then I said, okay, I like the businesses. I invested in the businesses, 8% yield. I was hoping for saving a million, get 8% on that seven, grow a little bit, and then retire on seven, six, seven, eight percent dividend, 60, 70,000 a year. That was my dream when I was 19. I invested in those businesses, started accumulating, accumulating, buying. 2002, 2004 was the accumulation period whatever I got from working, from doing, from that, I put it into stocks. A few years later, the emerging market, frontier market that was Croatia exploded. I got five to 10 times my money on my investments. Ericsson, Nikola Tesla was one and Yamnitsa, a bottling company in the country, growing very fast was the other. Later it went bankrupt because other things, but that risk wasn't there when I bought. So that's one. Then 2009 came. I sold most of it in 2006, 7 to 5, 6, 7. I bought a boat, paid for my PhD and uh, things like that. Really enjoyed life. 2009 came again. I had a job. Everything that I made from my jo job and my extra went into a tourism company that had a big camping on the Dalmatian coast, Croatian coast. Beautiful business, great asset, moat, because there were no other competitive players in the vicinity. A highway was being built to there and I bought it. I think the dividend yield was 10, 8 to 10 percent. The company was still growing, investing zero debt. So it was an amazing business to own. Fast forward four years. I did put 70 percent of my all my money in it. I put 30 percent in another transformator business that just got me a 5% dividend and 50% up when I sold 2015. I sold because we decided to move to the UK to do things 2014, 15, to do other things with life. So we needed that money and it was much higher than what I ever expected. The dividend wasn't 10, was 3%. So I sold most of it and that's another five beggar. But I was, the main principle is I was happy with the investment at the beginning. We settled a little bit in uh, England, eight months. We decided not to live there, moved to the Netherlands. And then when we settled again, we did one investment that was done together. We looked at real estate properties. I've seen that I can get the mortgage for 3.5% for 30 years fixed 
103% financing of whatever real estate I bought, I saw that rent prices were, rents that I was paying were 50% higher than what would be my mortgage, we decided to buy a house, we maximized the mortgage I could get, we knew we could find always jobs to pay it, it was I think a third of my salary, that was the maximum that I could got, we invested 300,000 on a mortgage, we bought a very let's say a uh, good healthy house but it was not fancy so it wasn't sold lowered the price a little bit and that was a great investment because we now sold moved to another country made a lot of money on it 150,000 euros to be precise in three and a half years so that's another good investment that we did and i'll that discuss that in details in a few videos or in one good video that will really show you what we did. So again, we were patient, invested when others didn't want to invest. 2016, 17, 18, let's say 2018, January 2018, Nelson Resources, I was looking at the businesses they have, the copper, the cash, what were they doing, the risk, copper was down and I invested 40% of my portfolio in that, it got acquired, I think I made 80% uh, on that during 2018. So these are the best investments over my lifetime, of course, Gazprom is also up 60, 50, 60% since we bought it this January. But by looking, by being patient, my message is very simple. By looking, patience, applying common sense, investing in businesses. All of these good investments that I made were based on one principle. I was ready to hold forever on the investment return the business gave me. When you start investing, I'm ready to hold forever. You are not disturbed by the nuances of the market, by the volatility you are buying businesses. And when you're buying businesses that you are ready to hold forever, wonderful things happen. It can go down 50%, it, that's always, everybody's scared about that. But then when you look at the upside, five beggars, 10 beggars, extreme returns, the upside is so much bigger than the downside. And that is what investing is all about. You just need patience, you just need a long-term opinion and you will do extremely well. If you want to follow what I do for the long term, buying businesses, being happy with owning businesses, being happy with buying more if those hopefully go down in price, please check my stock market research platform. I am sure that over the next 10, 20 years, we will do extremely well because we buy businesses, we're ready to hold them for the long term, and that's where the magic happens, thanks to compounding, thanks to the irrationality of the market, and thanks to just applying common sense. Looking forward to your comments. Send me an email if you have any questions. Send me a Facebook message if you prefer that way of uh, chatting. And I'll see you in the next video.